in fact. So for Todd, we're going to start with you. As directors on The Other Black Girl, what was your collaborative process like in bringing the story to life? What was my collaborative process like? Um, it... Uh, I was an executive co-executive producer on this show. So I was, uh, it was the most collaborative project that I've ever done because I was also responsible in helping build the rest of the creative team out department heads, helping to interview and hire directors and build out the group of people who were really going to sort of spearhead the, the creative effort that we were putting together, um, off of super ambitious material. We had the sort of North star of, uh, a brilliant novel, uh, that Zakia wrote and incredibly talented showrunners who were adapting that. So um, working with them through the way they were kind of pivoting off the novel and and trying to nail the tone and the style, stylistic elements um, that we were trying to bring to the show was sort of the the main focus of the collaboration. And, and then just building other people in of bringing other people in and building a team of uh, like-minded collaborators at the very least and, and having it always be supremely collaborative and communicative and, uh, and, and trying to make the best show that we could. And Nefertiti, the same for you. What was your collaborative process like? Um, so for me, I, I feel, you know, I collaborate with the writers um, um, who are on set. There's always at least one writer on set. Um, I collaborate with Todd in terms of, you know, he had a Bible for the show in terms of what the look of the show is and, you know, keep the keeper of like, you know, what the tone is. I also, you know, I really loved my collaboration with the DP who shot my episodes, Taryn Anderson. It was just really amazing. Um, and just really, we we connected on so many things. We had so many points of um, interest in common in terms of our, our cinema and music. And so it was just really great to collaborate with her and, and have conversations of, of what we wanted to approach visually with the show. And I feel like, you know, my always my favorite collaboration on anything is with the actors. Like I, to me, that's really wh where I feel like I, I come alive on set. And, and, and I just love being able to, bring help the actors sort of like bring out the best in their performances and you know for all of us to really elevate you know whatever it is we thought we were endeavoring toward individually I feel like when we all come together it elevates the material you know we all you know iron sharpens iron we're all in our a game and hopefully um when all of the collaborators come together we elevate the material to something beyond even what the writers imagined initially so it's it's always a, a collaborative effort when you're making film tv like it, it takes so so many people um to get to what you guys see on screen so absolutely and with that there's such a talented cast for this series can you speak to kind of your collaboration? Can you speak a little more to your collaboration with the actors and how they contributed to bringing the characters to life? Sure. Like I feel for me and Todd, you know, I'm not sure if you feel the same way, but for me, I feel like for me, every single collaboration with every single actor is different. You know, the way that I connect with Bellamy might be very different than the way I connect with Brittany. And what I see, you know, one actor needs me, you know, some actors need a lot more hands-on support than other actors, you know what I mean? So it, it really is an individual endeavor. You know, I feel like a big part of my job is always to be a good listener, you know what I mean? And to try to intuit, okay, I can see this person needs to be left alone when they first get here in the morning or, you know, just trying to figure out what is needed to help bring out the best in an actor. And, and it varies for every single actor. Everyone has a different process. Everyone has a different approach to materials. So I think part of our job is to sort of intuit that, figure that out and, you know, work with that person, collaborate with that person to, to, to get to the gold star that we're all looking for. Amazing. And then I, don't know, I agree. I couldn't possibly say it any better than that. Enough, maybe, so. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was a perfect answer. <laughs> yeah. Skip me. Go ahead. <laughs> um, well, Todd, um, the other black girl has a unique blend of genres incorporating elements of thriller and social commentary. And how did you navigate the balance between these genres while maintaining a cohesive story? 
Great question. Uh, that was the most engaging thing uh, stylistically, creatively about the show was the mashup of sort of different stylistic elements and genres. Um, and we talked a lot with the creators, the showrunners, um, and the DPs and the pilot director, Mariama Diallo, who did a phenomenal job. Um, a lot of my, you know, it wasn't my job to craft the look of the, of the show because I wasn't directing the pilot. I was a producer director. So I, I directed a couple and helped like Nefertiti said, build a Bible and try to add some consistency. So all the directors came in knowing what we were aiming for, but, um, but making sure that everybody was really uh, dialed into the fun of the stylistic elements, you know, like the fact that a lot of people would do come from comedy. And so you don't get to do horror or thriller stuff very much. Or you don't get to do super intense, dramatic relationship moments. So just making sure that everybody leaned into the opportunity that, that was there to, to sort of get to uh, use a lot of different creative tools stylistically um, and always kind of keep it grounded and real. It was really quite a, a sandbox, I, I think, and hope for everybody um, creatively to play in. Absolutely. Amazing. And then the last question to kind of round us out. The other, the other Black girl addresses important themes of racial identity and workplace dynamics. How did you approach translating these themes into visual storytelling? Um, that's a big question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think as, as with anything, it's moment to moment. You know what I mean? It's like when, when I'm breaking down a script, you know, I, I have my little notes of, of moments where you can, you know, some moments I can make choices that I feel like are speaking to sort of like larger ideas. And then some moments you just really need to be up close and personal with the actors. You know what I mean? I think we all have a frame of reference in terms of like our, what we're painting in the toolbox we're painting from. And, you know, Nella is in this very white world and, you know, trying to show that and use different color palettes to illustrate, you know, different moods, warmth when we needed it to feel warm or, you know, this sort of like isolated feeling we always had for her in the office. So I feel like it varies, you know, sometimes, like I said, it's like the big ideas that we're trying to communicate through color choices or through shot choices, or like we're losing, using a long lens to show someone look feeling very tiny in the frame for a specific reason, you know, but it varies, I think, from moment to moment in terms of like what you're trying to convey to the audience at that particular moment. Amazing. And Todd? I, again, it's kind of difficult to, to follow up on Nefertiti's exceptional answers. Uh, I mean, I think one of the things that was challenging for me was to um, be supportive and respectful and be a good listener in terms of the moments that you're talking about, especially the ones that had to do with uh, race and microaggressions and stuff that I uh, am but honestly privileged to not suffer a lot of at all. Um, and so clearly this is not the person that is the, uh, the the person that jumps to mind when you want someone to direct a show called The Other Black Girl. Um, and so I took that as a massive responsibility. Um, and again, tried to be a good listener and tried to just make sure that there was a truth that I could understand because everybody, while not suffering injustices like that, um, when it comes to race or ethnicity, have been marginalized or felt uh, unfairly treated. And so trying to figure out the core of the humanity of what the, a, a, any human being is going through in certain moments and trying to find the, the humor and the pain in it, as long as it was grounded by truth and reality and worked within the tone of what our showrunners and creators were, were looking to accomplish, um, that, that was always sort of the guiding light. But it was incredibly important to me to to do that as much justice as we could, because that is obviously not my personal experience and perspective. Um, but it, it's it's important and, it, and I think it works really well. And I hope that it's gonna help uh, ease open some people's eyes of, that maybe are not as aware of those things as they should be. Amazing answers. Thank you guys so much um, for spending your day with us. Um, we'll, have, we'll have a couple, oh, Oyenda, you can stop recording.